Left world. Uh, moving in. All right, was moving in, not anymore. Let's try that again. All right. Okay, so getting into the game. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Commence. All right. I'm not entirely sure. I think we're on the Strux point of view. Yeah, we are. And he's just got the mega spawn. Just like, right, get the shotgun. Get the rockets very quickly. Um, okay, that's very weird that he could have gotten both, both the elbow, but he screwed that one a little bit, so he needs to get the LG, which is pretty good, since Ivy doesn't really have any weapons besides the grenade launcher, so DKT, ideally you want to take advantage of this as soon as possible, does do a little bit of damage and goes on to take the red, which was delayed by around 8 or 9 seconds, there it is. Oh, and Ivy still doesn't have any weapon and he's, he's going to the mega, that's... That's pretty risky. Oh, he has the plasma, so it was actually a bait. I don't know, he just wanted to like claim all the resources and ID gets the first frag somehow. Uh, right. That was a very bad play from DKT because he had a rocket, so ID didn't have the rocket. So all he had to do was spam the rockets from afar. He didn't need to get in a, an LG fight there. Good thing is, by the way, guys, is I don't actually know who wins this map. I vaguely know what happens, but I don't know who wins, so... It's going to be interesting to see how this turns out at the moment, but it looks like he's still managing to get himself into some control. He's finding loads of resources after being killed already. So maybe ID... Do you think ID could have done anything to just get into control? Or is it just a simple timing error? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell when we can only see one point of view. <laughs> I was poking out for damage. Like, this is one of the crazy things about ID is that, like, if he had better grasp of like dual fundamentals, he could make those cipher-esque moves like completely out of control, but still doing sick amounts of damage. Like, he's one of the best so, attackers in the world for CTF. Basically, if he was better at dual, he would be better at dual. No, if he nice yeah, well, one. if he was better <laughs> at dual. <laughs> Well, they're just better at controlling the map, you know. He can do everything on CTF, but when he can't really control the map and in duel, he just does good damage. That's like essentially ID in a nutshell. Like, the, like DKT's been having so much control over here, but he's just not. That, ID's gonna get that kill anyway. Like, how the hell does that happen? And DKT blaming Sam? Yeah. I mean, so far the two kills have been big mistakes from uh, from DKT, and IV just seems to be doing a lot of timing mistakes, never being on the right side of the time, letting DKT stack up very, very quickly after getting a frag, never really having any control, thanks to that. So if ID can do some good damage over here, he oh, might get himself another kill, he will, there's the rockets. So DKT at a, a three frag deficit at the moment, but I don't think ID's totally stacked. Yeah, this is a nice little uh, mega take while ID's in on the red armor. I mean, so far there's been D uh, DKT timing the items and ID doing the damage. So I guess if DKT actually gets a gets the fight going for him, that he can bring this back very easily. Because again, ID is letting DKT get this red and taking damage and not doing any damage yet. There's a bit, a bit more. But I don't think ID has any stack whatsoever right now to actually fight. So this might be where things go wrong. Yeah, like DKT is a much more purebred dueler, so when it comes to controlling a map, he, once he gets into the flow of things, then he's probably going to do it far more solidly than ID would. And now he's got essentially 200-200. Let's see if he can actually get some kills of some sort from all of this. Because ID would probably be quite happy, I think, with his lead at the moment. I wouldn't. If I was ID, I, I really wouldn't be happy. No. He lost control, basically, for not being able to time items. And I don't know what he's doing at the Mega. Or did he actually take it? I think he I might have. It. I wasn't timing it, so I forgot <laughs> that we don't have the timers. So again, uh, that was 
Another Miz read. If that was actually Mega, so that was a Miz read from DKT there. Trying to predict that he is the other side of the map. He can't really push into choke point, especially without the rocket launcher anymore. He's giving respect to ID, you know. He, he's realized, okay, we're still like halfway uh, through the deal. No need to rush and just jump into Die. mid for nothing. Alright, so ID's keeping an eye on the mega health a little bit. DKT doing a remarkable amount of damage from the angle. Yeah, that was very, very good from DKT and a lot of the rockets. You cannot let ID uh, get, a, get away alive from here. That it is a frag. Getting back awesome. circling the yellows. On the rocket jump, I think he heard the ID on the other side of the map. Yeah. Taking the yellow. I mean, they're trying to take the red. All he needs to do is... Uh, he has an option he's either going for the LG or trying to deny ID from getting any weapons in there. He wants to deny the weapons. ID loves chilling around that mega. If I was UKT, I just let him take the mega. I mean, he's letting out of grenades by now. And now he doesn't really have anything besides the shotgun. ID just wants to run. Like, you don't, do not want to be in his face, ID. This is risky. Okay, good. If TKG actually lets IDs, okay, good. If you let IDs steal that red, that would have been atrocious. So four minutes left, uh, and so far the last couple of minutes, it's not been quite the tragedy for Destruct as it has been much earlier on. But ID is just trying to survive. It's it's, it's all about that. I mean, you, you can survive for a you long just time the on this map. I guess one got 55 now. Oh, and the crew drop. I think he just needs to finish this one up. He has the LG. ID only has a shotgun. Wow. So so far, it, it, it seems that Ticket is much better at controlling the map, not just the, the items, but the weapons as well. And mm -hmm. ID, I mean, he has a fighting down, but when, when he doesn't have the weapons, there's not really much that he can actually do. Besides trying to survive randomly. The mech is spawning in, in five seconds. Is ID gonna go for it again? There's the Mega, spawning at 32. No ID around. There's he. He still doesn't have the rock. Oh, he has the rock, but still not at no LG. DKT really likes the grenades, doesn't he? <laughs> I just managing to keep DKT at bay, which is good news for him. But he needs to also keep laying down that damage a little bit. Ruffle Saucer! Welcome to the sublist, man. Thank you for your support, bro. We've got a little bit of a Mario power-up thing going on. I'm so disappointed that he didn't show up at QuakeCon. Yeah, I'm Ruffle Sauce. What the hell, dude? They've just told me I'd go from Philadelphia to where you were living. But that was he would have the open duel. I mean, he, 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 we, we both know that Ruffle Sauce would have won the open duel. Obviously. Yeah. Like, without a shadow of trout. ID just took a lot of damage. Do you think that DKT could have just pushed in there? I mean, he can, but DKT being uh, more of a... I mean, he likes controlling the map more than actually getting the frags. Yeah. Oh, but this is a very bad... bad or good read from DKT. Depends on the outcome right now. He went for it, and luckily for him, the Mega wasn't up. So he can still control the map. And now he's the Mega up and ID is not there, so that was a very good move from DKT. He managed to do a lot of damage to ID and he knows that now he can make a move. Because ID he, doesn't have any L. I think he could have pushed him for the lead before that though, to be honest. Like it turned into a good move, but I think it could have been an even better move. There's no need for that, because if he pushed in for the lead before, now he would have at max 100-100. And ID would be around with a weapon trying to challenge the items. And now ID knows he can't really challenge the items because he has no health whatsoever. And he, I, I, he knows he's going to die, he's just trying to delay that for as much as possible. Or he's waiting for a teleprag. Because <laughs> there's no way he could actually win a fight right now. Although DKT is very low on ammunition. Yeah, that's a big problem. That's going to be another big reason he doesn't want to totally... And look at him, he's, he's, he's deciding where do I go to get more rockets. There's one minute left, and now is the time for DKT to push, because ID is starting to stack up. Now he should have around 100-something armor, if he's picking up the shards, 120. I remember the guys, this was the the first round in the playoffs that these guys were playing in. And this would be like a really close match. I think these guys were seeded... I think DKT was like Group B? C or something? He might have been B. Doing Group B. And ID was actually seeded really low, because... Barely anyone knows anything about him and Duel. 
Yeah, I think he was the second to last group. Okay, actually. I don't like this from DKT. Like, he spent the last minutes just controlling the map. And even though the first move was, was good to keep the control going, right now he's keeping the control going for a long, long time. And although that's good, he's not really doing damage into IP. And now he's pushing for a very aggressive move. And another one that could... That could yeah, that... I mean, that's just in... Killed all the control uh -oh. that he had. But set again. Now he needs to capitalize on that. Well, it's a close one. We, we managed to get the right game this time, I think. We've got an overtime over here. And this was That's good. Map number three. Overtime doesn't mean if the game's good or not. This I means like we overtime. get to see more playtime. I like overtime. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I don't like playing overtime, but I like watching it. Right now, DKT is trying to stack up again to establish the control that he had earlier on. He's still waiting on ID to make a terrible mistake, which, I mean, the mistake that ID is not, uh, is, is doing is not pushing in when he can, because there are small opportunities that ID uh, is being allowed to stack up, but he pushes in always at the most unfortunate time, because that's when uh, DKT is ready. His rockets DKT are saving his ass, though. Yeah, I mean, DKT is, is, isn't trying to do anything extraordinary, just trying to control the major items, trying to pick up a yellow as well if he can, but he's letting ID stack up a lot. So I think ID, if he is keeping track of the Mega, then he is, he's keeping track of the Mega, but again, that was a there very bad time to push. And the Mega wasn't up yet. Uh, I think DKT, he's just going to try and seal the deal right now, get another frag in or so, and just put it out of reach. 35 seconds to go, DKT is going gonna to have to cock up a huge amount. I think DKT is just playing a little bit like Zorak War this game. That was a ton of plasma damage, and I think ID is just going absolutely YOLO because he needs—he knows he needs a miracle for something for him to have a chance to get back in. He doesn't get the kill, so it looks like this map three was GG. I believe the map afterwards was Toxicity that ID won. So um, before this game, then they would have just been one apiece, I believe. I guess. And that was, uh, this has been uh, the only game they had, I think, that went to overtime.